So a while back, a few weeks ago, I posted on the community tab, link in the description, that um, the Joe Fixit had uh, gone back into stock on Walmart.com. And I said, hey, you got to jump on it. You got to jump on it. Let's all like just jump on it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. If you want it, do it now. And I decided, what the hell? I'm going to jump in on it. Yeah, it's just a repaint. Yep. Yeah, but I don't own the original. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like this is enough of an update for me to actually want it. And I don't, once again, I don't own the original. So I decided to jump in. And now I'm happy I did because now this thing's like $90 on freaking Walmart.com. So yeah, I'm very happy I did. But also, I'm kind of mad at myself too that I jumped in on it because. This thing is just a brick. <laughs> and a couple of people wrote my comments, uh, comments on the on the post, and that thing's like just it's just a brick. And you know what? You're 100 percent right. It is a brick, but is it a fun brick? Is it an enjoyable brick? Well, that's what we're gonna do in this here review. But before we continue, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's start the show. So first things first, let's look at the box art and I got to give them credit. This is literally, literally the only pose you can get this thing. <laughs> like this, this dude, because of the jacket, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit, but because of that jacket, man, that, that menacing pose of staring over you, that's pretty much the most you're going to get out of this guy. And, and, and that's fair. That's fair. To me, that's fair. I, I'll accept that. And also, he can't hold both those Tom, uh, the Tommy gun with both hands. I've, I've tried multiple ways because he doesn't have a butterfly joint properly. I mean, I don't know what kind of maneuvering you have to do to get that done, but he, I've tried. He, he can't really hold them in a, a decent enough fashion. As for the figure, aesthetically, he looks good. He looks good. The head sculpt is fan freaking tastic. The addition of the pinstripes versus the older version just make once again makes this dude pop if it gives you the illusion that this is a new figure that's an up upgraded figure even though it's the same damn build a figure body <laughs> but but yeah it just it just gives you that 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 feel to it and the shine on a plastic i can let that slide because I, I've I know people and I've owned sh uh, shark skin suits like the really shiny suits I've owned them I know people who own have owned them and it this is what they look like so once again I gotta give them a pass on that one I'm gonna give them a pass just just in my perspective I have to give them a pass on this one what I can't give them a pass on is the late this is what it, this is what kills me by Hasbro the laziness of the underarm so basically once you lift his arms up it looks like he's basically wearing one giant vest with pinstripe with with a pinstripe shirt on like he, he looks like a he, from the side he looks like he looks like a a, a bad chippendales dancer <laughs> like, like overweight fat chippendales dancer just trying to get it on trying to ready to rip off his vest like it just it it doesn't have it breaks the illusion completely from the side like from the front there's a little bit of depth he has his collar he has his tie he has the jacket the, the tie can move a little bit under the jacket he has his square his pocket square it has levels to it the pockets pop out like it has layer it has layers and levels but then you see stuff like that and it's just like lazy lazy trash lazy trash they all they have to do was take a little bit of blue paint and just just spray just spritz it in there now i gotta go under there with like a blue marker and just sit there coloring under his arms because they didn't have the decency to at least do that on a freaking build a figure it literally is the the, the mold comes apart and you put it together all you have to do is just hit it with a spritz just like you did with the pinstripes do something to just flow it through but they didn't even try that they just let it go and it just it looks so corny man and then on top of that on the original build a figure they painted the shoes they didn't with this guy he just has plain old black shoes again lazy 
lazy, lazy, lazy. This is the kind of crap that makes me not like collecting Marvel Legends. And I'll just kind of, you know, is why G.I. Joe, as far as Hasbro brands, G.I. Joe is the one that's actually getting all my money because they actually try. This shit is lazy. They literally have the mold right there. Just paint the damn shoes. It doesn't even make sense to me. Now for the accessories, he comes with two fist hands. He comes with a alternate head with the hat on and he comes with his Tommy gun with the detachable uh, drum. Now, trust me, the joke isn't lost on me that the Incredible Hulk needs a Tommy gun, but out of the box, he comes with the unhatted head, which is the to me the best of the two. Um, the hatted head is, if I'm not mistaken, just a slightly updated version of the original uh build a figure so i mean whatever it is what it is I, I personally on my shelf he doesn't have the hat on i like that i like the unhatted head better um the two fists are just two standard hope fists and the tommy gun which actually is pretty cool because it has actual paint on it and it's actually and it actually it, it looks like they put some actual effort into the tommy gun so it has some brown accents and silver paint it has a detachable drum and i mean it it has it 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 gives once again it gives this figure some pop to make me feel like it was worth the money that i spent on it but i got to give them one thing with the hat it head the hat head on it from the original he has that Mr. Santini will see you now. Look on his face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if this dude showed up in an alley, I'd be like, oh, crap. If I, know, if I don't get away, I'm screwed. Look, like, he definitely has, like, a little bit more going on with that. So, I, hats off. No pun intended, but hats off to them. And I'm going to put my hat back on to uh, talk about the posing because there is barely any. So there's barely any posing on this thing. So his head moves around. Um, I mean, he's on a ball joint, but it kind of can move around in a circle. He can do a little wiggly waggly. His arms barely get to 90. They don't even get to 90. Um, he has single jointed elbows. He has a little bit of swivel at the bicep. He has his uh, wrist rotation and um, a hinge in a uh, hinge in the hand. Um, he can rotate at the waist. He has single jointed knee it doesn't do pretty much anything and he has some basic tiny 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 bit of toe pivot and toe movement uh foot movement everything like it's just it's bad it's bad but it's the hulk it's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be the most posable hyper posable figure but i mean damn they didn't even try like they didn't even try to like bust the jacket open a little bit so he can have a little bit of extra ab crunch or something but no there's nothing in there man it's just it's 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 pretty pathetic the posing but i mean once again for me it's just gonna sit on a shelf so i mean it worked it works for what i want what i wanted for that particular shelf size comparison here he is with the marvel select immortal hulk which to me i still think is the best hulk ever made by far no, no don't even bother like stopping don't stop and go don't collect 200 dollars. this is the best hulk ever made to me anyway so here he is compared to him here he is compared to black widow and uh she hulk the mcu she hulk and here he is with the hydra stomper so all in all it's a brick i like it personally it's not for everyone i would not even say this is for everyone i i'm not even trying to convince you to buy it i just say for me i enjoyed it i still enjoy it but i know full and well this isn't for everybody it's a lazy repaint they added a little more accents to make it have a little more pop they added a little bit more compared to the original to give a little more depth fine fair but again not for everybody it's for me because i wanted it i like the look i've always liked joe fix it the concept of joe fix it i always thought it was cool you had the tommy gun you had the slick back hair with the little s curl in the front with the big evil grin on his face big evil smile i'm all for it man i'm all for this figure it works for me this one this one is one of those ones where it's just like 
you know, your mileage may vary. You may love it, you may hate it, but I, I personally, I really, really enjoy this figure. But yeah, with that, let me know your opinion. Do you think this is a trash figure? Do you think it's an okay figure? Do you think I'm uh, having a little bit too much time at the old beer fest <laughs> and, and my hangover is carrying over to November? Let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, again, make sure you're checking out the community tab. That's where I post any deals, which there are going to be a lot coming up. You know, Black Friday is fast approaching. Um, any pre-orders or any restocks that I come across while searching and browsing the World Wide Web. Uh, make sure you check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description. It's pretty awesome, pretty simple. All you have to do is click on that link, which will take you to Amazon, and then just buy away. And it's a great way to support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Yeah, but yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And this is the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.